landing site or the, the teams uh, getting ready to move out to the landing site here. A little better idea from the meeting reports that the WB-57 is also able to see Starliner now as it begins coming in for its uh, for its landing. We've still got just about a minute left to go before Starliner comes out of its uh, blackout period. Beautiful streak across the sky as she returns to White Sands, New Mexico. The next milestone we're looking for. Starliner is currently about 27 miles above the Earth, and the team at uh, White Sands reporting that they have seen it. We've got a tally hold from them. We are now just uh, six minutes and 22 seconds away from landing. We should also just be All right, and that action you're seeing on your screen, forward heat shield and drogues out. Really interesting view of this uh, coming down from the WB-57. See those two drogue parachutes uh, now deployed. They slow the uh, vehicle down initially until it gets to a, uh, a safe uh, speed for the enormous main parachutes to, to follow. Now back to a view from the Cessna aircraft in the uh, vicinity of the landing site. Again, this is a, a view from a little lower than the WB-57. Three out, currently reefing. And the teams at the uh, landing uh, recovery teams report that they heard uh, booms. Just a beautiful sight as Starliner makes its way to the sands of Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. That landing coming at 11.01 and 35 seconds Central Time, 10.01 and 31 seconds Mountain Time at White Sands Space Harbor at the U.S. Army's Missile Range in New Mexico.